Cancer. I hope you're all doing well. This is the second time I'm attempting your reading. The first had a lot of chaotic energy. The letter T seemed to be important, okay, as well as the letter D. Uh, but I am going to start again, but I did want to mention that we got the cards, the lower world for what's supporting you here and magic for what's challenging you and rainbow in between and it feels like to me cancer spirits asking you to step into your power and the devil came out as your current energy it was a little bit chaotic uh, so i want to clear i cleared it out and i want to start again but there is something important in that message that i feel i do need to convey about do not make yourself small okay make yourself heard make yourself known um you're more powerful than you think in whatever's going on in your life. Okay, I feel like now's the time to be seen. Now's the time to be heard. And Pixel is up here with us, uh, which tells me that it's also a time to listen to your intuition and to know that you are protected and guided. Yes, we're giving a little wink there to Cancer. So we're going to start with your reading here. I'm going to pull out some new cards. Maybe we'll get the same. I don't know. And then we'll get into the tarot as well. If this message resonates with you, I will go a layer deeper uh, in an extended, and you can find that link in the description box below. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's more than okay. Oh, <laughs> interesting. More than okay? Okay. It's more than okay. I do feel like maybe this is a very particular message for somebody. It feels like if spirit is telling you that you need to stand tall, I'm hearing. <clears throat> Interesting. Stand tall. Um, make yourself seen. I'm hearing unbutton your lip. That there must be some reason for that, right? So I want to find out what the reason is. Is there something coming towards you that you need to know about this kind of thing? Girl, I think we got to move you though. I think I need the table here for Cancer's reading. As much as I love you, and so does Cancer, um, we need the space. All right, give me one second, Cancer. I'm just going to get her out of here. We are back. Um, yeah, I feel like your intuition really is trying to catch your attention here. I'm going to pull out some, hopefully this doesn't call her back in because I think this attracted her last time. Uh, but I want to pull out some charms here to see if we can get some more clues and hints for you. We have the letter M-O-R-J, another R. I'm, see, I'm seeing tomorrow here, like I'm seeing it. Learn, the letter K, uh, the letter V, a waning moon, karma, a little button that says karma on it, a picture of a, uh, a I'm seeing a painting here, candy cane, an angel, a star, a snake, a saxophone, a wolf, the letter F, and a cat, and a butterfly. So I feel like you're definitely guided and protected with the angel and the cat. Trust your intuition. There could be a, some emphasis here on music. So maybe some of you are learning something about music, but I think this with the learn and the saxophone, I feel like it's like learn to listen to your intuition more or learn to listen to spirit in a different way than you have. Okay, because the message about the underworld was like there's something here that really um needs to be paid attention to some inner strength that you have that you're not using or that maybe you're a little nervous to access i do feel like with the snake and the butterfly you've had a recent transformation and maybe i'm hearing snake or butterfly if you, you know both of those insect slash animals <laughs> or reptile whatever <laughs> both of those things interesting are associated with transformation so if you were to pick just one would you pick the snake or would you pick the butterfly if if you feel like it you could let me know in the comments i'm actually interested to know can i put a poll in the comments 
If I can put a poll, I don't think so, but if I can put a poll in the comments, I'll try to do that <laughs> because I am interested to know here what you would pick because symbolically it makes a difference, okay? And then think about why you would pick that. I'm also with the wolf slash also looks like fox. I feel like you've had to do something in a very clever way all by yourself. All right, spirit, we're talking to Cancer today, are we not? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. What's going on here for Cancer? What are the energies that are supporting Cancer at this time, spirit guides? What are the energies that are supporting Cancer at this time? Energy supporting Cancer. No, 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 let's be sure about it. We can have it fall on the table. Mm, I don't like the way that fell out there. I want it something sure. I want it to feel like, yeah, there's something here. It's like almost like cancer. You're like, is that the answer? Is that the thing? Or should I, should I? It's like that feeling of being small here. And there's something more powerful that you need to feel. Like you'll know the answer when it, it feels like it just falls out or falls into your lap with force. Like the message you're going to receive here from spirit, maybe in this reading or maybe on your own, in your own signs and synchronicities is like no denying it, you know? And I feel like all of these cards that are falling out, it's not because I don't want them. I mean, they're all good. They're all interesting, but they don't have that feeling. You know, I'm looking for a certain feeling here. And this is a message for you too. It's like you're looking, you got to look for a certain feeling here about the situation. Okay, last time, and I don't care what it is. We're just going to have it come out. Thunder and the Mystical Shaman. I'm being asked to pull one. Completion. I saw all three of these as, they, as when I was doing that whole thing. Okay, so something here. Yeah, Thunder. Listen, right? Mystical Shaman. <laughs> Shamans also do this thing where they whisper in your ear or they blow into your ear. They can as a sort of kind of um, energetic practice. Remember who you are and where you came from, Cancer, like cosmically on a bigger scale. Remember the journeys that your soul has been through. You're much, much bigger and stronger in this moment than you think. the transformation that you've been through is complete so what is the energy that is challenging cancer see how that felt that was a lot different there yeah exactly that whole thing feels different so the challenge to you whatever energies are challenging you might feel stronger than the energies that are supporting you but it doesn't mean that you aren't supported you are very much so by three we have three by three you're supported some kind of trinity here trifecta there's something about three that's definitely been coming through in my readings that is supporting you the seer is what's challenging you okay what are you not seeing here we have the child at the bottom. Could be something about a child or it could be, um, and this is only if you already feel that intuitively, uh, or it's something maybe about your inner child. Uh, let me ask the tarot first before we get into the spread. Three more. Energy is very engaging, <laughs> Cancer. Like, I'm fully in it. Yeah. There's a certain heaviness to it for Cancer. Cancer spirit guides. And it's like no time to waste either, even though we're already 10 minutes in. It's this year, Queen of Swords in reverse. You're definitely not seeing something clearly. what the 
the magician in reverse and the six of wands in reverse just checking to make sure the whole deck's not in reverse it's not okay You might feel like there's been a victory somewhere. Somebody's had some kind of victory in a situation. Um, but it's not what you think. Weird. Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You're not seeing some kind of opportunity here because you are you are very sure about something that happened and where you stand in the matter but something wants to get your attention here to tell you cancer that's not the victory you know the, the victory is, is there is a victory for you but it it can't you can't see the opportunity here for something what is this opportunity spirit guides what is this opportunity tell me more Some of you have a big, big opportunity here. Five of Wands, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords to turn some kind of difficult situation that you went through into I'm hearing the law. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to Ace of Cups into something massive for you. So maybe this is like writing a book or um, becoming a healer, having a, a class that you teach or, or a workshop or a new job in a particular field. There's something here where this is about you spreading wisdom and knowledge um, about this struggle that you came out of. And I feel like you're trying to put something so far in the past because it's complete, the cycle's over, but spirit saying, Yes, that part of the, the cycle is over, but you need to go deeper into, uh, it's like that's what the lower world is. It's like deeper into what happened. Now that you have come to a point in your healing journey where you are very strong, stronger than you think, it's like you need to talk about something or you need to come out more forceful with whatever it is that you want to say or that you have to say. Because magic will happen in those moments. Yeah, I feel like there's something here you need to communicate. Maybe it's to a group of people or maybe it's one person, but it's about your struggle. It's about what you've been through. And I feel like spirit is trying to guide you here. Maybe you can channel when you write. I don't know. Or maybe you have been and you don't realize it. Um, what else does cancer need to know here? What is this thing about needing to be big? Judgment. Spirit wants you to, I'm hearing stand out. It's like the lessons that you've been through recently, and I feel like it's fairly recent, weren't there for no, like they weren't just didn't just happen to you for no reason. They happened for a purpose, for a reason. But for some, some reason, <laughs> you're not um, doing what you could with those lessons. And now's the time to do that. What is it that you want cancer to do exactly with those lessons? Death. And the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, High Priestess at the bottom. I 
I feel like a baton has been passed to you, Cancer. You know, I feel like it's your turn to lead. It's your turn to guide others. It's your turn to... lead others to justice and peace here in some way. It could even be a, a setting an example here for your children, okay? If that resonates, you need to be stronger here. Take those moments that were very challenging and do something with it. Turn it into something because it gave you something. It gave you a tool here. That spirit is really asking you to work with. Okay. Anything else? Is that the message? Is there anything else here? The Ace of Wands. Four of Swords. Five of Cups. If you just... Uh, the Emperor, the King of Swords, the Devil... Like, I feel, I don't even know how to turn this into an example. But I feel like maybe you've been very careful, kind, considerate about what's happened, you've, you know, which is great. Nothing wrong with that. But now that I'm hearing the tides have turned and it's kind of a moment for you to be very commanding in your presence. Because if you don't grab the bull by the horn, so to speak, or you don't really announce yourself as the powerful being that you are and take all the energy that's been given to you to work with, then you're going to kind of find yourself in a place of apathy here. So this could be anything for you, but it, whatever it is for you, it's got to be something where you feel strong, empowered. It could be in the way you communicate. No, you know, no him and Han, okay? Could be taking that leadership position. It could be deciding, you know what? I've had enough of this situation. I've had enough of this place I'm living in. I've had, you know, whatever. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to do the thing. And I'm going to make it known as well because I feel like you're serving as some kind of example here to others, whether that's your children or a community of people or one person. But it's like... Spirit is asking you here with the devil, the king of swords, and the emperor to fearlessly stand in your power. And is there anything coming towards cancer? Six of pentacles. Okay, what's this about? Knight of wands. Yeah, something's coming towards you quickly. That's why this feels so like, I don't know, intense. Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Something you walked away from or some, yeah, or somebody walked away from you and it really hurt you. This could be a job, whatever, you know, any situation in your life where you felt backstabbed here, okay, where something hurt your heart. You had to kind of, I'm hearing skedaddle, you had to kind of leave a situation. Well, here it comes. This could be someone from the past or it could be the energy from that situation coming back. They want to give you something here. What do they want to give cancer? I'm hearing nothing good. <laughs> the hangman. Something to think about. They want to change your mind about something here. They could also want to keep you stuck in a certain situation or scenario. The hierophant and the four of wands. For some of you, they're trying to get some kind of commitment with you on, on some level sign a contract you know work with us forever or let's get move in together or i don't know whatever something that's like binding in some way and spirit's asking you for whatever reason to really be in a powerful position and i'm not sure whether spirit is saying don't do this or do this you know i'm not really getting a, a yes or no vibe what i'm getting from spirit is be very strong and sure of the direction you want to take so that when this comes in there's no him and han there's no double thinking double thinking interesting about the situation you see with the seer you see what's in front of you you see the future 
and where this situation could lead. And you see the opportunity here for something that, I don't know, the fool in reverse, that you're not quite in yet or you're not seeing. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. I'm going to go into the extent and we're going to go a layer deeper. I'm going to find out what ex what exactly is this coming in? What's the thing you can't see? But if this is where you go, I love you so much. If this resonated, then please, Cancer, just be that like tough person that I know you can be. <laughs> I love you so much. I'll see you next time.